Hi friends, and welcome to today's short practice. Today we will be giving some love to that sassy upper and mid back. So let's go ahead and get started on our backs. Finding oh, a comfortable little position here. Either with the feet planted so the knees face up or with the legs long. <sighs> Begin to settle in here. Letting your body be supported by the ground below you. Invite the belly to f <laughs> Invite the breath to fill the belly, letting it rise towards the ceiling. And on those exhales, that belly tucks towards the spine. Cultivating equal length inhales and exhales. Taking care to allow this breath to become this cadence, weaving you into this present moment. And if at any point your threads begin to fray, return to the breath to knit it all back together. Take a bend in your knees if they aren't already bent. Feet press into the mat. Have an inhale and keep driving those heels into the mat to kind of hop the hips up a little bit and over towards the left. Arms find a T-shape and knees drop over towards the right as you roll slightly onto this right side, coming into a supine twist. You can stack the knees on top of one another, or maybe the right leg goes long if the left leg stays bent. If you'd like even more from this twist, send your gaze over towards the left hand if it's comfy for your neck. Both shoulder blades should be working their way onto the mat. If you need a little assistance with that left shoulder blade, press down, like bend into your right elbow, and press down and hop the right shoulder blade over towards the right a little bit more. Imagining that you're filling this left lung with air so that it rises up towards the sky and pulls back down on the exhale. Another round of breath here. And press down through the right hand to return the knees up towards the sky, adjusting back to that neutral position. Keep the arms in a T. Press down through the heels to lift the hips just a millimeter or so, and hop them over to the right. And find your knees dropping towards the left, coming into a supine twist. Maybe your gaze floats over the right hand if it's comfortable. Maybe your left leg is straight. Maybe you'd like to scoot both shoulder blades on the mat a little bit more, so bend through that left elbow. Press down into that arm and hop the shoulder blades over towards the left. Allowing this idea of the right side of the lung to expand and contract. Have another round of breath here. And bent into the right arm so much that it begins to reach over towards the left and roll on the <laughs> Legs to roll onto your belly. Find yourself 
scooching back onto your mat. Very cool. Coming into Sphinx, a bend in the elbows. Elbows can be under the shoulders if that's comfy. Forearms racks on the mat. Lift the right leg and pull it back. Lift the left leg and pull it back. Very cool. Press down through the hands and the forearms and drive the back of the skull towards the back of the mat. And if it's comfortable here, begin to take some gentle neck rolls. Maybe just doing little half moons. Or going for the full Monty, a full neck roll. Pause. <laughs> Back in action. Cool. Open the elbows towards the long side of the mat to come into a little oscillating cobra. Tent the fingertips at like 10 and 2 o'clock if we were in a big clock. Elbows point up towards the sky, and it's up to you to adjust how far away or how close to the body you'd like these tented fingertips. Feel free to play with it. We'll be doing this a few times. Press the tops of the feet into the mat so that the kneecaps lift a little off of the floor. Activate through the legs here and squeeze the glutes. Spike the pubic down, bone down into the mat. Have an inhale, feel the belly expand. And on that exhale, press down through the fingers, rolling the shoulders up and down and back. Gaze forward, inhale, exhale, release. Another one like that, charge through the legs, tops of the feet, press, inhale, rise up, and exhale, melt. Stay charged up through the legs. Maybe experimenting with if you'd like the feet closer or farther away. And keep taking your oscillating cobras here. Pressing down a lot with the fingertips and riding this wave. Maybe you'd like to bring a little bit of twist love into this. So take the right hand at noon-ish and the left hand at nine-ish. Gaze in between this window of your hands. Take a big inhale and press the ground away. And exhale, melt. Maybe change up the hands a little closer. Inhale, rise. And exhale, melt. Try in the other direction, left hand to 12, right hand to three. Inhale to rise, and exhale to melt. Inhale, rise, exhale, melt. Inhale, rise, and exhale, melt. Keep taking these oscillating cobras, riding your breath. For five more rounds. Keep charging up through the legs and squeezing those glutes. When you've Completed your five rounds. Stack the hands, letting the elbows come out towards the sides of the mat. And allow this stacked hands to be a pillow for either your forehead or your chin. Coming back in this little neutral position. Begin to scan the body. How does the back feel? How does your mind feel? How does your heart feel? Have a big inhale and press the belly into the mat. And an exhale, 
belly retreats gently away. On an inhale, take your hands to the side ribs and clip those elbows in towards the sides so that they point towards the back of the mat. Take a big inhale and exhale, power press. Rising up on the knees and finding child's pose with either the knees touching or a wide leg child's pose with the knees out towards the sides of the mat. Allow the forehead to find its way. Inhales, puffing up through the back of that heart, that 360 breath. And the exhales, allowing the chest to melt a little closer towards the ground. If your forehead rests on the mat, begin to sway it side to side, massaging out here through this third eye space. Grounding in. And on an inhale, press down through the hands and come into this little forearm tabletop situation. If you're in a wide-legged child's pose, go ahead and bring those knees underneath the hips, setting up for a little puppy pose. So here we are in a forearm tabletop. Extend the left hand long and the left arm long. Cool. Now we're like in this extended arm tabletop. <laughs> Take a big inhale, press down through the hands and puff the back of the heart up towards the sky. And on an exhale, sink down. Allow the chest to come close to the ground. Maybe the forearms and the elbows touch the mat. Tail flicks up and back, kind of like cow pose. Having a moment here. If you're super flexible through the shoulders, go ahead and activate this by pressing down into the hands and lifting the chest away from the mat and like puffing a little bit through the back of the heart. Even gazing down almost like, not directly at the navel, but in this middle of this space. Lifting the low ribs away from the floor. Take a big inhale here, activating through this puppy. And on an exhale, deactivate the puppy. Instagram puppy. Melty puppy. Cool. Take a big inhale and press down through the hands and rise gently up. Back through tabletop and then down onto the belly. Take both hands out into a T and allow the chin to rest. Untuck the tops of the feet. Cool. Setting up for a pec stretch on this right side. So bend a lot through the left elbow and tent the left fingertips. Right palm touches the mat. Press down through the right palm and the left fingertips to kind of hop the chest over towards the left and take any flesh with you so that you can roll onto this right side a little easier. Bend a lot through the left knee and press down through that left hand to roll over onto your left side. Left toes can search for a space behind the right leg. If those toes aren't touching yet, you can even stack the legs or you might be pleasantly surprised by how incorporating some long exhales Maybe sending your awareness to where the hips are and what they're doing. You might find that they relax a little bit more. Use this left hand as a barometer for how much you'd like to roll onto your right side. Have another inhale. And on an exhale, return to the belly. 
Swap out the hands, right arm goes long, or left arm goes long, <laughs> right arm bends. Hop the chest towards the right, take the flesh with you. Bend in through the right knee and roll onto that left side body. Stay for your next inhale. And on your exhale, return to your belly. Keep the bend in the right knee and allow the left knee to bend. Hands can be, and arms can be wherever is comfortable, maybe stacked once again. Begin to take some windshield wipers. So you'll send the feet over towards the right, up through center and to the left, up through center right, up through center left. Next time your feet come up through center, place them back down onto the mat. Take another moment here to witness how the body feels, how the mind feels, and how the heart feels. Feel free to take a little rest, a little shavasana here in this prone position or in any position that suits you best. Whatever feels comfortable in this moment right now is what I recommend you do. And then maybe stay for a little bit longer. Thank you for joining me today, friends, and I'll see you again soon.